everyone, Cindy here. I'm back with another haul with you. I did uh, a little bit more milk glass and then I just wanted to share some of the other stuff that I've gotten over the past month and a half or so or maybe two months of estate sale and garage selling. So, um, just this past weekend I went to, actually I found a flea market here where I live um, so I went and checked that out and oh and I did go to one estate sale and there they didn't really have much so um, most of this I got at the flea market except for these right here these I did get the estate sale and they are salt and pepper shakers and I got them for um, 50 cents yes both of them for 50 cents so thought that was pretty good. I'm not crazy about the tops because they're plastic but you know I figured I could decorate them up and make them all pretty so um and then this actually I think I got the weekend before at an estate sale and I think I paid a dollar fifty for it but I liked it and I think I'll use it as a base for a solid or a for a mip milk glass plate is what I plan on using it for so um, and then the rest I got at the flea market so this piece I thought was really pretty and I paid three dollars for each piece so and I really like this um, and I actually have this piece in the green um, let's see if I can show it to you here no, it's out of my reach here. But it's the green glass that you probably have all seen. So, and it's in the same pattern and everything. So, when I saw it in the white, I was pretty happy. So, um, and then I got this shorter um, flower vase. I like the shorter one because um, I'm just always kind of nervous with the taller ones that if I put a plate on there, it might fall over. So. <laughs> I like the shorter one. And then this piece is odd. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe maybe an ashtray or candy dish. I don't know. But um, I paid three dollars for it. I'm pretty sure it's milk glass. Um, but I thought it was really pretty. I could put my some pretties in there. So Okay, and then this piece I got that was really pretty. Um, it was three dollars again. It's kind of stained in the inside. I think I can get it off. I just have to scrub a little bit harder. So, um, and then this piece, which I thought was really pretty, again three dollars. And then I was able to find one of these that I've seen a lot of ladies getting for three dollars. And then this one matches this other one back here. Um, it has this on the side. And I don't know if all the hobnail has this, which I don't think it does. So. But I, I did notice that those match. So and then this one for three dollars, and the guy had actually a bunch more, but you know I didn't want to buy them out. So <laughs> and uh, I can always go back. So anyways, that is my milk glass haul. I'm pretty excited about it. I like finding different little things and adding to my collection. And you now I just need to figure out where I'm gonna put it all in my house. So some other pieces I found which I want to share with you is this is just a regular glass piece but and I think it was salt and pepper and an oil vinegar thing but um, I thought it was just really cute and I think I paid a dollar maybe two dollars for it. Two dollars I think for it. And I thought I could put some glitters in there and then whatever over here. I haven't decided yet. So, And then 
I got this other really neat piece. Let's see. I can pick it up. Um, I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, let's see if I can set it down here. Bear with me here. I have my camera on a tripod, but I don't have it out, so. Let's see. Sorry. Okay. This piece I saw last minute as I was walking out of an estate sale. And I love it. It is so cute. Um, I think they're spice jars. And it says on the bottom, I don't know if you can read it, a season at. Um, I tried to look it up. I didn't see anything on it. But it is really cute. And then on the top it has a little that. So I thought I could put glitters in there or something. Who knows? I'll find something for it. But it comes on this little thing and it turns. So I thought that was so cute. So in that I think I paid six dollars for. So okay so that's it for my milk glass right now. Um, the other thing I want to share with you is some jewelry. I'm going to cover you up and bring you over here. Some jewelry that I've gotten at estate sales and then Oh, I picked some beads up at um, Tuesday morning. And then if the video doesn't run too long, I want to show you some doilies that I've gotten. So, um, oh, here's some other little things that I've gotten. Um, I think what I'm going to do with these is I'm trying to get the lighting a little bit better so you can see. I make a pin cushion with it and I just love it. I love the colors of it. I don't know if you're getting the colors or not. There. Um, it has the greens in it and stuff and um, here are some of my green pieces that I've picked up too. Some of the green glassware. Which I love. And that's really what I started collecting before I started doing the milk glass. So anyways Here's another piece I got next at an estate sale. And it has the gold and some blue and green in there. And I figure I'm gonna make some pin cushions with it or or whatnot. It's a cute little plate with it. And it does say something on the bottom and I don't know if it means anything. Maybe this lady who I bought it from painted it. I don't know. So I thought it was really pretty. I think I paid three dollars for it, so Okay, um, so these are the um, things I picked up at Tuesday mornings, not, oh, it's probably been like three weeks now, but it's the Jesse James beads, and I paid $2.99 for them, and I just, they're so pretty. So these are kind of, oh, some grays in there, blues, they're kind of just mixed packs, so some purples in there. And some greens. So I need to get busy and make some stick pins. <laughs> some golds in here and pinks. A few blues. And some pinks and clears and stuff in there. So anyways. Okay. Um, oh, this I just thought was really cute. It's Hummels. I love the Hummels. I think I paid a dollar for it. It's a little pill box, but I figured I could alter it or display it or something. So, um, this was at one of the state sales. I had told you, or one of my previous videos, the lady was just a collector. And so, this is some of the stuff I got. Some of these are plastic, but some of them are the, uh, I don't know if they're porcelain or, or not, but they're really pretty. So, and then a lot of metal ones. This is a wood one. Sorry, not in frame. So, I figured I could use them on some projects. What does that say? The world's... Or... The 1982 World's Fair. So, wherever. Whatever that's from. So, anyway. Okay, so I'll do this one first. This is, this is from the lady who collected everything. And I got all of this from her. Yes, I believe so. And I think I bought 
two things when it was still full price, which were the brooches, because I didn't think that they would last. So I paid $4 for this. And then there's another one in here. If I can find it. Oh, when we get to it, I'll show you. But the rest I paid, I think, a dollar for each. So I paid a dollar for this necklace. And I figured I could take it apart and use the beads. And it's a really pretty cream peach color. It's not really coming out in the video, but it's really pretty. And then it did have matching earrings. So the earrings, you know, these were a dollar for both of them. Um, and then these. And I like using these for flower centers. I don't know if the color is coming out. Sorry. I kind of put my lamp over here hoping it would work better, but I don't think it is. Let's try that. Okay, and then there's these, which are, these are more of a cream, just cream. Um, these. So these were all a dollar. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I loved these. I saw these the first day and I said, nope, I'm not going to buy them. I'm going to wait. So they're really gorgeous. They're a blue with some gold and a pearl in the middle. Love those. Um, this one, there was only one. And actually, this centerpiece is something that's fallen off, but I figured I can clean it up and, and uh, put something there. So... Um, okay, this is the other brooch I paid. I did pay four dollars for it, but I figured I can make a mold of this too with some clay and use use it over and over again. So this is a dollar. I don't think this had a matching one, but it was still pretty. The pinks and golds. And this one, this is I paid I think a dollar for. Um, these I paid a dollar. They're pretty. These middle ones are kind of a greeny color. Love them. Dollar for both of those. These are earrings. Dollar for these. And these are kind of a pink and red, I think. And these, these are really pretty. Um, and these are actually a cameo. I don't know if you can tell. There we go. And it's kind of a clear purple material. I don't know what it is made out of, but really pretty and I figured I could make a... Let's see. I don't think I got this with her. I think that was through somebody else. And I might have shown that in a previous video. And that one. Okay, and then these earrings, yeah. So, a dollar. So, pretty excited about that. That's, in my book, a good deal. A dollar for that, those earrings and stuff. I don't see a whole lot of it. And when I do, it's usually more than I want to spend. And by the time I go back, if it's like a half price day, most of it's gone. So... Okay, now, um, this stuff, stuff I've actually gotten a while ago. Oh, this I got this last weekend. I paid five cents for it, but I figured I could pull it apart for the beads. This I paid a nickel for, and it's kind of a mess, but I can pull it apart. Usually it's individually, so I just thought it was pretty. It's definitely old looking. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So, I went garage sailing, and this lady had a big bag of jewelry. She wanted $5 for it. So, basically, all the stuff that I'm pulling out right now, I paid $5 for. Um, no, this is a watch thing that she had in like this. And I loved it. I loved the hands on, the, on it. So, I thought that was really pretty. Um... A lot of it's different. This was at a garage sale and I paid a nickel for. I thought that was really pretty. 
Um, let's see. This was a bracelet that I've already taken apart. So hopefully this is all coming up on camera. All this for five dollars. And these are some of these pieces like, huh, what are you gonna use? But um use them for, but I figured I can gesso them up and and make them all pretty. This was really pretty. So I want to get going because I don't want to take too much time. This heart was really pretty. Some rhinestones on it. So um there were some really pretty pieces in there. Like this one I really liked. It's blingy on there. I don't know if it's coming up. This one I really liked. Oh, it's going to focus. Um, so, anyways, there was this clock. Or watch. Some smaller pieces. Oh, this was really pretty. I don't know if the cameo's in there. There's a small cameo that goes right in the middle. Let's see if I can find it here. Yeah. And I'm going to make a mold of it. And um, so I can have itty bitty little cameos. I'm hoping. We'll see how it comes out. It's hard to see. There you go. So I thought that was pretty. Um, lots of little, little pieces. So I'll, I'll find, I'll be able to, it's five dollars for all this. I'll find stuff for, oh, there's a kind of a blingy earring. I like the blings. That I'll definitely use. Some little baby shoes. Another little frame, definitely use that. <coughs> the other bling earring. Little lion. And, oh, this was a set of earrings. I did pay these separately. I think I paid $2 for them. But I thought they were really pretty. And the rest of that bracelet. And that's pretty much it. So, pretty excited about that stuff. $5 definitely can use that stuff. So, anyway, put this stuff away quickly here and show you what else I got. Now, this other stuff is more not as nice, but it was pretty cheap too. So, um, I think I paid 25 cents, or maybe for all this, I think I paid. 50 cents, so, you know, we can find use for that. Some, like, frames and stuff. <clears throat> Some wires, and I won't bore you with all this. So this I thought was cute, a little spider for Halloween. Some beads. Yeah. These are old now. I thought those were cool. This is kind of a green. I don't know if this is Bakelite or not, but I'll have to look into it. Some bling. This I thought was really pretty. And these these are old. This is only one of those. So anyways. That was fun. Kind of I think this I got at the store market. Some kind of junk jewelry his mom had or something. I don't know. So and this I thought was really pretty. This I actually got at that estate sale. And these are little they're glass beads with flowers on them. I thought they were really pretty. I paid a dollar for that. So, oh, and then this I got a garage sale for, I think, 50 cents. But I liked all those little pieces. And then the little cameos again. So, okay. Enough with the jewelry. I'm going to show you now some doilies. Okay, this was last weekend and I've been looking for the tablecloth or whatever that everybody's getting and then taking apart and using and making flowers. So this I did find. I did pay six dollars for it and they're not the round but I figured you know these will still work. So that I was excited about and I did see in the state sale where this late there had one of the blankets I wanted 
and I went to go get it, saw it in a picture, got there, and they wanted $95. So I'm like, uh, no, that's not happening. So I have to keep, keep looking. So I got these linens. I thought these were really pretty. I think I paid $4 for them. And they're very beautiful, I thought. So, and there's four of them, I think. So a dollar each. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go through every one because, honestly, there's a ton here. So, um, let's see. I think I've shown those. Okay. These... Some laces I got at a garage sale, and I think I paid four dollars for all of them. Um, all this stuff, actually, all this lace. Um, yeah, this one too. These, this one, all of this for four dollars. I think that was it in that. And there might have been some doilies in there. I can't remember. Okay. So then I was able to pick up this. Oh, this was off an outfit. I took it off an outfit that I got at a thrift store. So and I paid a dollar for it. So um, I don't want to bore you with every English. These I've got at... An estate sale. This is a pillowcase. I figured I could take those off, and I want to make a nice um, photo album with some linens and stuff. So, okay, let me get to the good stuff here if I can get it out. Okay, so I was on a hunt for doilies because I couldn't find them anywhere. So I think I found some. There are all my doilies. The lady who uh, was the collector had a ton of doilies and I only made a small dent in her doilies that I bought. Mm. These were not from her. These were from a garage sale. I paid 25 cents. But almost probably all of this is from her and I think I probably paid $8 for all this. I paid 5 the first day, I'm like, how much do you want for this? And he says, how about five bucks? And I said, okay. And then I went back and picked up a bunch more on the 75% off. And and he gave me a really good deal. So I've got a bunch of doilies. Pretty excited about that. As well as these. These are some bigger ones. So all from this lady. I'm set for doilies. As I said, the only thing I'm looking for is some of those... Um, uh, tablecloths or something that I can um, pull apart. And actually I did find a blanket but I do want to get maybe one more. And here's some more I got from this lady and then <clears throat> excuse me, some of this stuff I have gotten at other estate sales and I've paid, you know, a dollar each or something but uh, most of this is from that lady so um, I'm pretty excited. And some of these larger ones, I was hoping to pull apart, like this one I think I could pull apart and use. And then I'll use them to decorate around the house and stuff too. So um, I got a really good deal on them, but I'm not going to bore you with going through all of them. So I'm telling you, estate sales ladies, they're great if you have the time. Okay, here's the blanket. <clears throat> and I think I can pull apart and use these. And I, actually, this is, yeah. My throat's really dry. Let me take a drink. I'm sorry. Okay. This I did actually get at the estate sale that the lady had everything. And the guy charged me a dollar for this huge, I think it's a blanket. I couldn't believe it when he said, how about a dollar? I'm like, okay. So, anyways, pretty excited about that one. <clears throat> And then, you know, through all that, I have gotten some just miscellaneous, you know, kind of vintage crocheted lace and stuff. Um, so, 
<clears throat> this one is beautiful. Love this one. And it's real it's round. It's all connected. I don't know what it use was used for. So <clears throat> and that this I thought was really pretty. I don't remember where I got it, but it has the green on it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this piece. So, and then I was talking to my mother, telling her that I was looking for doilies and stuff. She's like, oh, I have some doilies. Your grandmother used to make them, and I knew she did. So she sent me a bunch. And these will go in my hoard vault. I will never get rid of these. So I was pretty excited. But a lot of this stuff my mom made and my grandmother made. And um, I'm pretty excited. And I'll probably actually maybe use some of this to decorate around the house. But I'm going to have to label it so I know. But I think this piece came from my grandmother. Oh, and this, my mom said that they used to hang on the backs of chairs and the armrests and stuff. So... It's beautiful. I just, I love having this coming from history, my family history and stuff. So, pretty colorful. And I think this, no, her, this is from my grandmother too. So, anyways, I was pretty excited about that. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to share with you now. Otherwise, this video will get too long. But I do have more stuff to share. Um,. From my estate sales and and whatnot but um thank you for stopping by and looking at all my goodies and i hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend and coming up yes it is well it's wednesday but anyways thanks for stopping by and we'll talk to you soon